Hello everyone. Today I thought I would talk about a Raspberry Pi um, B plus or A plus or any any dev board for that matter um, that's the same size or equivalent size as a Raspberry Pi outdoor enclosure. So this is a makeshift outdoor enclosure that's fitted inside a flood lamp. Uh, the reason why this is cool is because Today you can buy a flood lamp from Home Depot for $8 and just gut it and have a perfectly sealed outdoor Raspberry Pi case. So in here, uh, let's talk about a little bit about the components that I have inside here. I have a LiPo battery, a 4000 milliwatt amp hour um, LiPo battery, and a Raspberry Pi camera module. In the front here I've actually cut off the reinforcement bracket for the glass. Um, it's just because I had this one sitting around. Uh, it was really old and beat up, so I thought I would turn it into a pretty cool Raspberry Pi project. Today, those brackets, the safety guards on the front of the lenses, they you can actually just take those off. Um, so anyway, uh, I'll take this apart and show you what it looks like. So I've actually just, and this is just a mock-up. Now this could be a lot better, but I thought I would show everyone. So <clears throat> I've taken the front glass off and I got a long kit ribbon cable and it, it, you can see that it doesn't take that I mean you could use the standard ribbon cable that it comes with but I'll drape this over here and then <clears throat> here is the battery now this would also take a converter to some degree so you would snip this off and actually convert uh, use a, a DC to DC converter because this is 11.1 uh, .1 volts so uh, you'd want to convert that but this is this is the size battery and the kind of battery that I used and it seemed to fit in there pretty well so <clears throat> that's the battery and then the Pi you can see that I've taken everything out and you'd actually just want to make a, a simple mounting bracket so is what I do know is, is that each one each mounting system inside here uh, for the flood uh, for the flood lamp itself is going to be a little bit different so my suggestion is would be to make your own mounting bracket with the same screws that you've taken out and you can use this cord for anything you can either take out the cord altogether and maybe um, put a network cord through through the same circumstance if you just want it outside for like time-lapse photos but if you wanted this to be like a motion tracker for hunting or something like that you would use a battery and, and a pretty significant battery because um, this particular flood lamp it has a clamp um, and in the clamp yeah, I could attach that to a tree for instance take this cord completely out uh, and it would be completely sealed and you could literally just I could wire the switch on the side even if I wanted to make sure that it was really good and sealed I just turn the Raspberry Pi on and off from the switch itself so this is just a really old flood lamp that I had so I thought it was a, a pretty good uh, way to house a Raspberry Pi. Um, if you have any questions please leave a comment below. Um, if you're looking for links look down inside the description of this video. If you like what you saw today please subscribe. That's all I got for now guys. Have a good day.